Hi gang, Scott here. Welcome to InPost and thanks for joining me today. Uh, the photo I'm sharing today uh, is from the earlier in the week in the field video, as is tradition here on InPost, but it's a scene that landscape photographers will be familiar with. Right? We got some relatively cruddy weather. The sky isn't really offering up a lot. There's a little nuance out there but not a whole ton. There are some things we can do in post to give the sky a little more character, help it to lend itself to the photo, and that's what I wanna show here. Now, if you watch the In the Field video, you'll have uh, noted I made a comment during the outing that's like, oh, there's a little bit of blue out in the sky, maybe it'll hold. It never really did, but in this scene here, we can kind of see a little bit of that happening, right? On the left-hand side, we have some bit of coolness here. There's a little more blue out in the sky there, and then it was becoming just kind of the, the whitish gray that we get when the sky is just uncooperative. This here is without any sky treatment, and I'll click here to this other snapshot. See, all right, added a little more nuance in it. I feel this, this fits the photo better. Uh, there's, you know, uh, I, I like that the fact that there's some some blue gray in here, but also the texture, not even texture, just the fact that there's some clouds, there's some separation of things out there. It's not just a bath of gray. And so this was done with just a single mask. And let me show you that right here. So I'll open up the masking area and this mask right here, one click and I'll hover over it. This is the uh, Lightroom's you know, select sky option. So really no magic here, just Lightroom, find the sky, give it to me. And then the adjustments, a little bit of temperature reduction, a little bit of exposure reduction. That's our, our, our traditional to kind of rein in a, a blown out sky. And then contrast to really push the separation. Whereas I push contrast really far, right? We see this part becoming brighter these blues and even some nuance in here becoming uh, more obvious. Just the fact that there's some stuff out in that sky, playing with contrast pushes that around and it does so um, less aggressively than say something like clarity because we don't want to make that sky crispy or uh, detailed. There's not you know hard edges on these clouds here. So that's what uh, the adjustment was, really straightforward. And the temperature adjustment is, I've, I've talked about this, I'm sure, a bunch of times in different videos. You know, before and after just on the temperature, accentuating those blues just a little bit to, uh, to play up that touch of blue-gray that was out there. And uh, that is really it. That is the technique. And so leveraging things like selecting a sky and then nudges, traditional things we do darken the sky if it's blown out. In this case, add a little contrast to get that separation. And I think the photo is better for it. So uh, that is it. That's, for, that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you got questions or other ideas, please drop them below. We can all learn together. We're all accomplished photographers. And so I love it when we're sharing our knowledge with one another. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.